Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf out here today on the practice green at Les Bullside Golf Course with Jake Montgomery, master club fitter at our Minneapolis store. Today's gonna be a fun one, very interesting one, uh, because we've got the Scotty Scheffler putter build with us. So um, TaylorMade is releasing a limited quantity of the TaylorMade Spider Tours in Scotty Scheffler's specs. And so they're kind of the way he likes his putter built. So that's what we have today. Um, it's a kind of a fun look. We kind of, we already did the driver video. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if you haven't checked that one out, please do. Now we got the putter, and the putter's actually been the big weapon for him since he's really turned things on here in 2024. So tell me what you see, Jake, when you look at that putter build. Yes, absolutely. Man. I mean, the first thing that sticks out to me is having an L neck, knuckle neck, whatever you want yeah. to call it, on a mallet putter. Not something we've traditionally seen, but a lot of guys like that, including guys like Xander Shoffley. Mm -hmm. He's got it on that Model Seven. Um, it gives it a pretty square look in my mind. I am not a huge fan of like the slight slants or the yeah. flow necks that are on there. This to me just looks like I can square that putter up a lot easier. I come from a history of using blade putter. So yeah. that just looks very familiar to me. Now I've also had face balance spiders in the past. I've had one with the slight slants. I mean, I've tried many different variations here. This to me just looks pretty square yeah yeah it's it's just definitely designed to help it seems like help scotty line things up squarely mm -hmm. both um at address but also even when it comes to lining up the putt in general right yep. because that that true path alignment mm -hmm. uh very vivid on the kind of the head of the putter there very clear uh helps you out lining yes. that thing up mm -hmm. also spider technology mm -hmm. right i mean he he is notoriously you know, he used that scotty cameron blade yeah. for uh, several years and it seemed like putting was kind of that thing that was holding him back. Mm -hmm. um, earlier here in 2024, switched to this and immediately just went on a tear. Yep. And so, you know, we can look at the numbers here. We're filming this here in June. Um, he's won you know, the Masters, the Players, mm -hmm. uh, several, several tournaments this year. Um, and it seems like the putting has been kind of that, what has got him to that next leap. For sure. I mean, that's really what's unlocked him, I would say. Yeah. I mean, his ball striking has always been amazing. Last year he had one of the most historic ball striking seasons of all time, but his strokes game putting was not the best. Yeah. Um, since making this switch, he really has put it all together. Yeah. I mean, I think a big part of that is this putter is just flat out more forgiving. There's back weights here, which increases yeah. MOI, a lot yeah. less deflection on a miss hit there. Um, could be that the true path alignment is helping yeah. him line it up a little bit more square. People love this white contrast yeah. with the body of this putter. Every time I'm fitting a putter and I give someone a spider, like, ooh, I feel like I can line this up pretty yeah. straight. Um, at Minneapolis, we use a little laser system as well sometimes on our putter fittings. Usually people can line up a spider pretty square to the yeah. top. Yeah, that definitely helps with that. And we should also go through kind of the specs as mm -hmm. well that are a little bit, it's actually relative to maybe most putters on tour and yeah. how uh, particular guys are. This mm -hmm. is a relatively standard putter build. Pretty standard, I mean, yes. So this one that we have is 34 inches. Scotty's mm -hmm. is a little bit longer than that in yep. length. Um, but then the, the, really the one major tweak is that the lie angle is slightly upright. So yes. Is, uh, his putter is 72, where most putters, the standard lie angle is 70, so slightly more upright, and that might just be Scotty's a taller dude. Yeah. So, so that kind of helps with that. Upright. Um, but three degrees loft, that's standard. Mm -hmm. um, so as far as the specs go, it's not, it's a very, very standard yeah, build that absolutely. you might very close something you'd find just in the second swing store. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's uh, kind of cool to see Scotty thriving with something like that, at least. But yep. so we're yeah, we're gonna hit some sh some putts here, kind of get then the feel feedback from from Jake and myself to see how this thing feels, and maybe uh, just for one more moment, maybe mm -hmm. kind of envision ourselves in Scotty Scheffler's yeah. shoes here. So want to hit some putts? Absolutely. All right, Jake, let's see it. Um, I kind of as you hit these putts mm -hmm. again, this is not a terribly difficult putt. We got about oh. an eight footer here that goes a little bit left. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, just give me your, your f feedback on the feel. Absolutely. And also a little bit of, like, I'd be curious too, just mm -hmm. on kind of your, cause you, um, as far as I know at this point, are playing a jailbird. And Correct. So the visual is very different because yes. on the jailbird, you have those, those vertical mm -hmm. kind of stripes. And then this way it's- Much almost, more horizontal. It's, yeah, it's totally the opposite. Yes, I mean, I would say the contrast in the white to the dark gray helps a lot for yeah. alignment. I mean, I'm not someone that typically uses this like the single black line that doesn't help yeah. me too much, but I mean, just that overall contrast, I feel like pretty confident that I can yeah. line this up there. Like I said, I really like the look of the mm -hmm. L neck. I like just that little bit of offset that the putter has because of that. Okay, pulled that one. And then uh, 
So talking about the, the L neck and the, yeah. the kind of face rotation a mm -hmm. little bit, this is designed to kind of with, it's a slight arc, it's yes. actually 21 degrees of toe hang. Mm -hmm. So it's relatively moderate in terms yeah. of the toe hang. There's some out there that it can get pretty aggressive, mm -hmm. but you can feel that a little bit, just kind of promoting that. hundred percent. It wants to move with your path a little bit. Yeah. I'm trying to kind of match that with my arc a little bit, yeah. just get a little more kind of yeah. across this way. Mm -hmm. I will say I'm a big fan of the pure roll face. It's yeah. way described to people as it's soft but solid. I think they could do a good job also of still giving you feedback mm -hmm. on it. Like you want the soft feel a lot of players do and you get that with this, but it's solid enough that yeah. if you miss slightly you heel toe, whatever, like mm -hmm. you get that feedback and you kinda of have it. Whereas so some putters are so soft that you don't really get any of that. Yeah, feedback. it doesn't feel like a marshmallow by any right. means. Oh, wow. Did that one not break? No. What is just going just on here? There. All, all the other ones have, have uh, had some break. Mm. All right, so overall thoughts there, Jake. I mean, it feels great. I mean, it's a little short for me, but I mean, yeah, right. that I just mean, comes down to the spec of it. Yep. Um, it's very easy to line up, I would say. Yeah. Like, that was not because of alignment. My putting <laughs> well, path is just a little inconsistent right now um like i said pure roll face feels very very solid i mean i can feel the forgiveness on some of those i didn't hit all those perfectly centered yeah. on the face and i can feel it not deviate too much um definitely a higher moi putter that's what spiders right. are known for if you're someone that needs a little more forgiveness on the greens this would be a good place to look yeah i definitely would i think there's um you talk about high moi putters i mm -hmm. think taylor made spider just all that that huge yeah. family um is is one of the top on the list yeah, and so I, I, I'm not surprised to see Scotty go to something like this, and clearly mm -hmm. it's working for him. Yeah, uh, a lot of forgiveness, softer uh, face probably than his previous mm -hmm. blade. Oh, um, but some, um, some of these characteristics are going into definitely him playing and putting better. Yeah. So Jake testing complete, mm -hmm. tailor-made Spider Tour X L neck, the Scotty Scheffler build here. Mm -hmm. um, he had some good feedback on both the feel of the face. Yeah. And then we also talked about kind of the things that probably Scotty likes a lot about this that mm -hmm. are maybe helping him putt better. Um, I guess in terms of, you know, who's it for? Obviously, the number one answer is just it's for Scotty Scheffler. Yeah. Um, but it also can apply to a lot of golfers out there. So kind of 100%. talk me through maybe the, the golfers that might be able to work with this one and help them and it'll help them play better. Yes. I mean, if you're a blade putter that's looking for something that's more forgiving, easier to hit, it's a very easy transition. It attaches to the putter head in the same yep. manner that you're used to in your blade putter. Typically, people with a blade have a little bit of arch of their stroke, so that's going to match it pretty well with that toe hang there. Um, it's not, I would say, an oversized mallet putter. It's not like the jailbirds that right. we use or kind of other oversized mallets like that. It's not something that's real hard to kind of get used to looking at. I mean, a little bit of extra head weight there, which can kind of help smooth people's strokes out a little bit. But I'd say just the player that typically plays a blade, maybe looking for a mallet or someone that likes the look of a blade but can't really play one. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's also, I, I would add one thing here too. Um, a lot of these blade players might mm -hmm. be the tra traditionalists in the sense of they like the classic look of a putter. Yeah. Um, now, this probably doesn't have that because of that yeah. alignment stuff, but I think if you're, I would suggest being open to it 100%. because there is definitely a science behind what this looks like at address and how this sort of stark contrast here with these lines can help you line it mm -hmm. up. So, uh, but you're right. I mean, it's, it's someone that's maybe not putting as well or maybe struggling looking for something that still feels similar to a blade, this can be a great answer. Or you just want something new, you want to yeah. play something that clearly has helped the best player in the world mm -hmm. putt really well. 100%. Um, this, this build is, is a really good one. So yep. uh, golfers, check it out at secondswing.com. We'll have limited available. Um, otherwise, of course, this putter might not be for your stroke, um, but there's a ton of options out there that can help you putt better. Jake or any of our fitters will dial that in for you at our fitting bays, or of course we can do that through an online conversation as well. So. Mm -hmm. Jake, thanks for joining um, the Scotty Scheffler Putter Build. Uh, this was a fun one here. It was.